crew of the Arkendale H, captained by George Thompson, who had left Swansea at 9.15am that morning for another routine trip to transport oil down to Worcester. Via Gloucester, which is south by the Sharpness Canal, but on the fateful night of October 25th, 1960, disaster struck. When Arkendale H pulled up to Sharpness, carrying 296 tons of black oil late that night, very thick fog had blanketed the river. They could not see anything over the boat. The only indication that they had of their location was the fog horn from the end of Sharpness Pier. While Stowe H, captained by James Dew, returned into Sharpness from Avonmouth, also had the same issue. The two boats were sighted by each other, but slowly both vessels collided with each other, becoming stuck together. Both captains tried to separate by pushing pushing each other's boats away from each other, but they were both pushing left and right, which pushed them further together, with both boats not being able to hold against the strong tides. They would become out of control and taken into the deeper, fast-flowing current. Both vessels were still locked together sideways, heading towards the Severn Railway Bridge. <laughs> Seven Railway Bridge was designed by George Baker Keeling and construction started on it in 1875, before it was completed and the bridge opened in 1879. It was built by the Seven Bridge Ridge Railway Company for the purpose of transporting coal from the forest steam. Once completed, it was used for commercial locomotives, cutting 30 miles of Bristol to Cardiff with trains no longer having to pass through Gloucester. It officially opened on October 18, 1879. It regularly had trains every day going from Lydney to Sharpness and vice versa. Arkendale H and Wastone H, still locked together, drifted towards the bridge and had four minutes of total fear until they struck column 17 and 7 railway bridge. Wastone flips on the report site as the tide pushed Arkendale H on top of the sinking ship. But more shockingly, two spans of the bridge dropped 21 metres or 70 feet and landed on the two boats themselves. The impact threw Captain James Dew off Wastone H and into the water. He clung to a part of the railway line. The only reason the train didn't crash down on them too was because it had gone through approximately five minutes before the disaster had taken place. The boats were inflamed with the petrol about to explode. A gaping hole where the two spans were once left the gas main cables ripped, ripped away. A brave individual who heard the commotion switched off the gas supply to the bridge. If he had been too late to the burning wrecks, would have exploded and destroyed the bridge, potentially ignited all the gas mains across the forest. Lydney, Blakeney, Newnham, Colford, Sinderford could all have gone up, as well as all of the forest being really, turning five casualties into potentially several thousand. Captain Dew made it to the shore after being thrown from the boat. The current swept George Thompson three miles up the river before he could get to the shore on the Lydney side. Only three men survived the disaster. Both captains and an engineer, and one man's body was never located from the disaster. The collapse of the Severn Railway Bridge meant that the closest crossing of the River Severn was the Talford in Gloucester, until the Severn Bridge was built in 1966. The Severn Railway Bridge was deemed too costly to repair and was dismantled over the next 10 years, the last parts being removed in 1970. Only one part remains the swing bridge over the Sharpness Canal.